Hello friends, welcome to our website etltestingtutorial.com. Today I'm going to start with the topic what all are the prerequisite for our course ETL. What all we must know before jumping on to the ETL tool, the complete process. Okay, so these all are the topics that I'm going to discuss today. So the very first thing is the, the thing that we should know is SQL because ETL is completely based on data and SQL is the language with which we'll able to work with the platforms, the database platforms like SQL Server or Oracle or MySQL, right? So to interact with all of these databases, all of these uh, OLTP systems, we must know, we must have the knowledge of this SQL language because this is the best way to interact with the databases. And within ETL, SQL is the like a heart for ETL. Without SQL, it's incomplete to work within ETL. Right? And in our recorded sessions, if you look at these, uh, module number 3 onwards, still module number 5, I am discussing about SQL only. The basics of SQL and the functions within SQL and some advanced topic like joins and the sub queries and union functions like the set operations and the views sql views stored procedures i'm discussing about all of these right so this is the reason to work on sql before jumping on the etl process because this is the very first thing which one must know if uh, one want to learn this etl process and the next thing do we need to learn about uh, any of the programming language? No, we don't need to learn Java. We don't need to learn C or C Sharp or C++. Uh, we don't need any of the programming language to work within ETL. So just make sure that you know you have very good command on ETL, uh, sorry, good command on SQL so that you could easily work on ETL process. Okay, and SQL itself is based on the queries. So queries are very important thing to execute so that the ETL process will become easy for you to understand. So these are actually the some frequently asked questions that people generally ask me. Do we need to learn programming language? Which What is the uh, building block for ETL? What, which one is a tool trust? So I'm just giving you the overview of some of those questions. Okay, so wh what you should know before jumping on to the ETL. So we don't need any programming language. Okay, we must know the concept like uh, how looping works, just the basic things, how for loop works, how if condition works, even that is helpful. The loop loops or the conditions in case of running some of the uh, transformations. We'll discuss about that one also. Okay, so the next thing is which tool I'm using. It's Informatica tool that I'm using as an ETL tool and informatica is completely drag and drop tool right so on the left side you will see that the list of sources and the list of targets transformations and you'll just drag the source and place it within the mapping designer that panel where you could design the mapping mapping means how the data is flowing from source to target from target uh, from the different transformation to the different different uh, like ports within targets Right, so Informatica is completely a drag and drop tool. You don't need any of the programming language. Uh, rather, you need that conditions or looping things. That is very simple. Right, so the next thing that you need is the transformation language. So what are transformation language? These are simply the transformations are what? Transformations are the things that business need the logic behind why we are going to like we have within source we have 20 columns and within target i just want five columns which five columns i'll pass on it depends on the condition and that condition we could write within the transformation okay the condition like all oh, pass all of those employees having the having the salary greater than twenty thousand, having the salary less than five thousand. Right, so these all are called the transformation language with the where condition, where the uh, with the filter clause, where the joiner, 
with the joiner, lookup transformation. So that all are actually covered within SQL. So transformation language, just the business requirement, whatever is uh, at, at that moment, on the basis of that only, we'll create the transformations and that is uh, going to help you a lot. Right, and within Java trans um, within transformation, we have a transformation named as Java transformation, in which we could work with the for loop. We could work with the if condition. We could work with like if is something that we can implement even with the uh, filter transformation. Okay, so for is a loop that we can't implement other than Java transformation. So within that again, it's not public static void main. It's not about system dot org dot print. These are the terms that are generally used within Java. We'll not implement those. We'll just write the for loop. We'll just call the functions. We'll just call some of the transformations that are not as much complex. You just have the mind to work with the uh, transformation, then you can easily implement those. Now, what about creativity? Creativity means the, the thing that I was explaining from source to target. We'll transfer some of the record set. Right. So that thing like from a source to target, I am transferring only three record set on the basis of the condition wherever the salary is greater than 20,000. Right. So in that case, what I'm doing, I'm just passing on. I'm creating the mapping. Right. This is the mapping that we'll design within the Informatica client that is the designer. Right. So these all are the creativity that the user must have before implementing the ETL process. Now debugging and problem solving. This is again one of the thing that again comes as part of the transformation. Problem solving the thing that we need. We just want all those employees having the salary greater than 20,000. So that is the problem, right? So now how could we solve that? If we implement the filter condition, if we implement the filter transformation, okay? And then to debug. Debug means to cross check the thing. That is the role of the tester here becomes the ETL tester that will check how the data is complete flowing from source to target right so debugger means just to check at each and every step where we are going wrong if output is not satisfying the business needs right so the last thing that uh, we covered within the and one more thing all of the topics like SQL we are covering within the module 3 5 the informatica I'm covering from module number 9 to 14 and all are the creativities we have covered within informatica all of the transformations within module number 12 and problem solving again as part of our modules within informatica we have covered now the tableau tableau is a tool that I'm using for the reports right and what is the prerequisite for this for working within the reports that is covered as uh, you, sh you must have the knowledge of data on which you are going to create the reports. So the data knowledge is the only thing that you need before working on the uh, that reporting to the staff you and in the last modules if, if you look at our recorded videos last three modules are on the report section only. Okay. See be a reports, be a dashboards. So these all are the things which user must know before implementing the, uh, before working on the ETL thing, ETL process. And just remember, we don't need any of the programming. We just need to know the basic concepts, how actually looping works. What is the reason of using the loops? That is again, a thing that we'll use in the end. The main thing is SQL is the important part and SQL plays the biggest role while doing the debugging, while doing the uh, testing of the data that is flowing from the source to the target file, right?